Alright guys, welcome uh, back to The Last of Us. Now, uh, I'm actually doing this particular part in post-commentary. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I had a technical difficulty when recording this particular part, and the audio just didn't, it just came through really bad. Uh, but now I got it down, so this will probably be the only part, because I'll, like, you know, that will be like this. So, uh, yeah, so as you see, um, we have, uh, I'm trying to take out this guy, and I actually fuck up this first time, um, trying to get, get, you know, this guy from behind, uh, but yeah, so this will be the only part with post-commentary, I apologize, uh, yeah, I fucked up, so I'm not, I actually, after this part, I record, after this part you're seeing now, I actually stopped to record what I'm recording right now, this commentary over the video, because I felt like it was... <laughs> I just I was so mad that it happened so I'm like alright let me just get the post commentary out of the way now and try to do it so this is like a half hour apart so I'm going to take an extra 30 minutes and go back and do this but shit happens because I didn't want to just upload a part see right there I moved the fucking bucket and he heard it I didn't know he would hear that and I pretty much get fucked right here and I end up restarting the encounter yeah, there you go and I'm like fuck guys I don't feel like doing it you know, fucking restarting the encounter, but, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, what we had to do, uh, here was pretty much just take out the guys one by one. I actually end up getting spotted anyway, but it's not too bad. I get shot a few times. Um, I try to s save my shit as much as I could, uh, but, you know, it's hard. It really is hard. Uh, because shit happens, you know what I mean? So they are killing the infected again. And, uh, yeah. And also, I didn't want to give you guys a bland part where there was no commentary. <laughs> I wanted to give you something. This is this is the time I actually get it. And I'm like, you know, fuck hitting him with the arrow. Let me just go up behind him and grab him. Nighty night. And I, was I, I thought there was only one guy at this part, like one guy in there. He was the only guy, but then like I turned around after I killed him and there was like two more. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, thank God I didn't get seen. And here we go. This guy is going to go out. There he goes. It's okay. Nighty night. I didn't, I just noticed I didn't grab his ammo, but I guess I was so focused, I was like, oh shit, there's other guys, I gotta hurry up. Yeah, so this part, this part was kind of scary, because I had to turn, fucking hurry up. Because every time you hear that noise, and, you know, they're coming closer to spotting you, so, you gotta be careful, this part is tricky. Now, I fucked up at this part, because when I hopped over... I thought he completely turned, like he was, he was walking, and I saw this guy, so I kind of panicked, and I was like, oh, fuck, and then I dropped down, and he's like, oh, there he fucking saw me, so that fucked everything up, so I punched the fuck out of this guy. There we are. <laughs> Get fucked up, and this guy pisses me off so bad. I'm just like, you motherfucker. So bad that I give him a double tap just because I felt like it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, just made it. There's no way I was dying again on that part. Well, I didn't die the first time, but there was no way I was having another death so soon in the part. Thankfully, there's no deaths in this part.
Shot the hell out of that guy, huh? Yeah, you sure did. I feel sick. And you just hang back like I told you to. Well, you're glad I didn't, right? I'm glad I didn't get my head blown off by a goddamn kid. You know what? No. How about, hey, Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Thanks for saving my ass. You got anything like that for me, Joel? We gotta get going. Lead the way. So, uh, Ellie kind of did uh, actually save her ass. And Joel's just like, I don't trust you. Shouldn't have done that. It's not easy for a 14 year old girl to be equipped in an apocalypse, but uh, it's gotta happen. And Joel has to realize that. This is just more searching. As you're supposed to. In the dirty bathrooms. Always trying to make sure I don't miss anything passing by. Because at this point, I fucked up. There's a pendant that I found. It's pretty cool. I didn't really read it though, I didn't have much care for it. I was like, whoop, almost missed that. Got all them. And uh, we're dealing mostly in this in this section of the game. We're dealing with uh, haunters, um, and they're pretty much a bitch. The part coming up soon, uh, towards the end of the part, it's pretty hard, and I fuck up kind of because I think that uh, you know I'm not. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill all of them or I'm supposed to find where to go. Turns out I'm, I was supposed to f like kill all of them stealth, but that wasn't the case. And then uh, I got spotted, and I had to fucking fight them, and I lost a little bit of health. And Ellie helped me because she was shooting the rifle. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about if you played the game. That's the part in the, uh, in this part that I struggle with, unfortunately. I like to mention how Ellie. Like, how would Ellie be able to, like, help Joel that much? Like, would that really be an improvement in strength? I guess so. I was just playing the piano there, being an asshole. And, of course, before we hopped up, I wanted to check the other side of the room, because I knew there had to be something on the other side. And I, I believe it was just some gear parts and alcohol, maybe? Yeah. There you are. <laughs> So here we go, we're continuing on. And more shit on the other side. A nail bomb.
Oh shit! Come here, keep your head down. All right now, I'm gonna jump down there and I'm gonna clear us a path. What about me? You stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. You seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, I sort of shot a rifle before, but it was at rats. Rats? With BBs. Well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. All right, now, you're going to lean right into that stock because it is going to kick a hell of a lot more than any BB rifle. Okay. Go and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just tug it. Here you go. And as soon as you fire, you're gonna want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. All right. And just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me. You're welcome. Yeah, that's all I should have known, but... So now he's starting to trust Ellie and give her gun privileges. Now this part was tricky um, because I didn't... I, I forgot... It's, it was, it's been a while since I played this particular part and... I didn't know if you could easily sneak past all of these guys and progress, but little did I know is that you actually had to take out each individual and uh, then continue. And when I finally got spotted, uh, accidentally, because uh, I was doing a good job up to a certain point, I was trying to look like where to go, then I realized, oh shit, when I got spotted, you actually have to take out everyone. So I could have taken out some guys but because the thing that pisses me off is that I've done this before you know I remember doing this now and I remember taking out all the guys but then I got spotted and then Ellie had to help me and it, it kind of turned into a mess because I had to waste a little bit more ammo waste a little bit more health but we got through it and we still progressed so honestly that's the main thing at the end of the day I, I'm not a I'm, I'm not a perfect person especially when it comes to games so uh, I'm sorry. It's it's a hard it's a harder game, especially when you forget this, exactly what to do. Got a little health thing there. I noticed this guy coming around, so I'm like, yeah, let me just sneak past all these fuckers. I've done it before. And it, it actually gets pretty hard because uh, they place the enemies in a spot where they they will spot you if you make the wrong move. So. I'd be very careful. There's even a guy up on a little tower area, which I had to watch out for. There he is out there. He comes back in, and I'm like, oh shit. I think I can hide there, and I'm like, oh fuck. Go, go, go. I could easily taken him out. I think I took this guy out. I'm not sure. I might have. I don't know. Just because he was just annoying. Because you just don't know. The, the enemy patterns are different. Like, you don't know where they're going to walk all the time. Which is kind of cool because it keeps it realistic. Like, you just don't know. But they patrol wherever they want to. Yeah, I killed this guy. Out of, like, five or six that are around. It's not too many guys. But, uh, it was still... It still sucked when I got spotted. I didn't, and I didn't feel like restarting an encounter because I just felt like that would be a waste of a part. And it would be cheaping out the audience of that, you know, you guys that are watching. So, didn't feel like doing that. Yeah, see this part, you have a guy up top, guy down there, and you have a guy back there in the store. Which you'll see in a second when I listen. I think it comes up soon. But yeah, it's uh, really cool uh, that uh, they do, you know, different things with the enemies and make them do their own little paths, but it's very hard. There he is. 
to the guy in the store. So my strategy was just to try to take down the guy at the bottom and then walk past the guy that was up top and then make my way into the store. I was still trying to run around and, and see what was going on. So, but little did I know, I was actually supposed to take him out. And remembering now that you had to, it would be it would have been relatively easy, but it, there was no way I would go and just re-record the part. You know. I already saved anyway, you know. So, yeah, I took him out thankfully before he saw anything. And this guy I waited for him to go on the other side, so I was like, all right, it's time to move. He doesn't see shit. And then this guy. Coming up is a bitch because he's, he's all over the place in that room. Then he comes in this room. It's kind of annoying. I actually get spotted by the guy that's next door. Because uh, I didn't know. I underestimated it. I was like, alright, I think I should try to hide. And then all of a sudden, he comes through the doorway. So, but the, yeah, this guy, he walks, he comes out from like the little back room and then he stops there. Then he comes back stops in the room, then goes even further. They're weird patterns. That's why I'm always afraid to move, because it's like, yeah, I think I can go, or I think I can get a shot. And then he just ends up turning around, like that. And I'm like, oh shit, you know, I gotta back up. So it's really frustrating. And I wanted to take him out, because I didn't want him to see me. Like, you could go out that window right there, and go to the next thing, but I didn't want him to, like, see me when I was crossing. So I knew that I had to take this guy out, kind of like the one in the uh, previous room that I was in. So I pick up a little thing, Firefly Note, and a body. So I'm like, okay, I still gotta take out this guy. And uh, even though, because he, he comes all the way around, so he's in there now, then he does his time in here, then he goes back in there, so it's pretty much just on a little cycle. And uh, I was just waiting for the moment. But I think I almost fuck up here because I have, I have to, like, I try, I know he's coming. I know he's there. I switch my shit. He turns around and walks right into it. I literally almost missed him. Pick got my arrow back too. Which is always cool to get your arrow back. So I'm like, okay, I gotta go back in this room. I think everything is good. Like, I can safely turn the corner. Like, he's walking. And I'm like, okay. I just gotta... Come back here. And try to, like, get a different... Maybe, like, wait for him to walk in that room. Because I could, didn't want to just walk out. And me, not knowing, he just... There he is, and then that's when I'm like, fuck, I pause the game. Oh, Jesus Christ, so knock him out, kill him pretty much. And uh, now I got all the enemies on me. <laughs> Which is just fucking dandy. And she, Ellie's shooting, and, and I'm trying to look for a way out, and I'm like, fuck, where do I go? Where do I go? And I'm trying to get, like, the other, you know, weapons and, or ammo that I can get. shoot an arrow in this guy so he doesn't fucking see me and shoot me down. I'm like, okay, there's nothing over there. And, uh, continue on. trying to just get things and not know where anybody is. Getting shot at and shit. 
Found gear parts though. <laughs> but yeah, this part I was just scared because like I didn't. <sighs> I'm gonna light you up! came up and just fucking shot him. Then I'm like, fuck, don't die. Whipping Molotovs at me and shit. These guys don't let up. Literally, I know Ellie's fucking them up. The rifle. She does help, actually. The AI does do a good job with them. This guy, I, I just missed bad. At this point, I'm freaking out because I don't know what's going to happen. And I, I didn't know why that one shotgun kill wouldn't have killed him, but whatever. I think there's one guy left. Alright, come on down. I do. How about something uh, a little more your size? It's for emergencies only. Okay. Now, the safety zone, uh, do you, you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just, you gotta respect it. This is not the, okay. I kind of felt bad because I really did fuck up on so I'm going to try to avoid as many fuck ups as I can definitely uh, but I mean it's hard but it's still fun it's all in fun I'm not a perfect person at all when it comes to games uh, in general so 
some games are easier than others. This one, of course, the bad stuff happens when I record, but uh, it's a difficult game. But I love it. It's not too difficult, you know, so um, there we go. do a lot with uh, you know it has to do a lot with just everything uh, that makes up of makes up a good game kind of it just has to you know I mean there's always going to be the really difficult parts it's going to be parts that are easier than others so So we grab more shit, and we just have to take that little thing out from under the door and help us up onto there. Help me open this. And this is where I actually upgrade uh, a few things. I didn't want to spend everything, but I spent a good amount just so I can, you know, get a little bit more upgraded with some of the stuff. I get a scope and the rifle, upgrade the pistol a bit. Just just some little tweaks that, that will help in the future. So, it's always good. And again, it's always important to try to know what's going to actually come in handy. You don't just want to go random shit. So, I, I mean, I, as, I don't use the rifle that much, but I wanted to at least get a scope on it. And, we'll, you know. and unfortunately, we need toolbox three. We're only up to two. So, uh, we're still kind of very limited. I want to do the revolver a bit. Because sometimes we'll not have any millimeter... Uh, ammo. And yeah, she's like, hey, you got the scope working, so I put that in the holster, so now we got the scope. There it is. And, uh, cool shit. And I just showed the pills, because I'm like, yeah, we gotta get that. I'm looking for health next. So it might take a little while until we get them, but we're getting there. It takes time. Get down. Get down. <laughs> Busy couple of days, huh? <sighs> Whatever, man. Damn, no food, old pair of shoes. We got nothing. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just get to that bridge. 